teens, and risk-taking. What did you think of when I said that? Most people think of house parties and binge drinking, smoking weed under the bleachers, unsafe sex, or fighting and violence. In other words, a bunch of bad things. But really, growing up is nothing but a series of risks that we take. From our first steps and our first words, to learning to ride a bike or asking someone out on a date. Each time we try something new, we're taking a risk. And we need support to navigate these risks well. For parents, teachers, counselors, and the other adults who work with young people, every day presents a new opportunity for us to support healthy risk-taking. That means being there to answer questions without stigma or shame, supporting us when we try on new values or identities, letting us make mistakes so we can learn from them, celebrating when we succeed. Most of all, adults who are the best at encouraging healthy risk-taking and growth, they listen. And listening is key because young people know their day-to-day -day worlds better than anyone else. Trusting them to make their own choices is critical for building their confidence and life skills. Without taking risks, teens have trouble developing into capable adults. It's everyone's job to make sure that they're supported and safe so they can grow up to be healthy, not just physically, but emotionally, socially, and more. Given that society thinks of risk-taking so negatively, it makes sense that adults want to limit or even get rid of risks altogether, but that's not what we need. Yes, there are unhealthy risks that all of us need to avoid. Drug and alcohol use, unsafe sex, and violence. But healthy risks, good risks, the kind that challenge us to expand our horizons, those are so important for our learning, for growth. Learn more about promoting positive adolescent health behaviors and outcomes from the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine at nationalacademies.org slash adolescent health report.